Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Get him! What the fuck?! Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done.
Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. time now. I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, no!
You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with Walker. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. I don't like living like this. Christ, folks. It's not getting any easier. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know?! I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies! That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute.
I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. But there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? 
No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I was sent to prison before the plague. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's, different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now, but what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. <sighs> hmm. I appreciate it, though. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. 
Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm a... I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? Why would I joke about that? I don't know. Um, wow. You're a part of this group and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't, I mean. I know what you meant. Thanks for trusting me, man. I... Uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Hmm. Doc. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. 
Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? I, uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a headcount. Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <clears throat> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. 
Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, we got our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all! And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh shit! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit, the brain. He's back there. Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Hide me! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Where is he? He's right behind that man. Hurry, come on! Clint, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay, go! Oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Get down here! Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly... Is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. If not now, when? Look at what just happened. We're all okay now, though. You and I have very different definitions of okay. Like, look, 
Maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker! You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other options. Leave him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything! I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Do you think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please! God, please! You're pathetic. Look at you. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence! Stop treating him like this! Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute! Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you! Stop this! You're torturing him! No! Ben! Stop! This is about trust, and I've never trusted you! Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't! Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group! We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem with... Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken! Lee! Why? Why, Lily? Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. Murderer? Lee's killed before and I forgave him. You've killed before and I'll forgive you. Bullshit, you, you will. Know we You've do. been it planning has to, to get me done. this entire time. I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. 
Whatever. Just get in. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? You've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. Got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we got to deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her.
Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. in pretty good shape for a wreck. Jesus! This door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja, for Duck. Here, I found these, if Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? 
I don't know. Are you okay? I know you are fond of her. I'm sorry. You don't want to talk about it. Have you heard anything out of Lillian there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. You worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast.
suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when we're working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'll get back to it. Me too. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah.
Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. You have candy. Boy got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worse comes to worse. Boxcar safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, Chuck. Honey. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him.
We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad get them? No. Ah, living got them. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Will you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? The beginning of a walker. He'll be fine. We get to the coast and maybe meet up with people who have this shit figured out. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect, not that fucking sham you're running back there! You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you! Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! You wanna hurt people because you're afraid! Losing duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen!
again. It's, I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and... Just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest, so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. She couldn't. She, 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 she just. Oh, 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 fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it.
<laughs> you uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What are you thinking about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. It's a fifth of whiskey. They look clean enough. We're not on this train much longer. I found this if you want it. 
Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young. Doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. What a crappy day. The crappiest. And three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? 
It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Close. Now keep it steady. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. To the right. Steady now. Almost got it. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to 
to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. A thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse. And it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? 
Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. That's about the only useful thing in here. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, their numbers keep going up. And ours... I'm telling you, Lee. If they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves.
What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, Sometimes. You like Civil War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You got it. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know... That's rough. Our cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Hmm. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? <clears throat> hmm, won't budge. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. How we doing? Good. What do we need? 
Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck, it's still locked! didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. Or we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? They didn't have much business back then. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Holes as a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope there's holes.
That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. 
So did I. Well, sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. We're almost at the river. You wanna get on a boat? You wanna wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Cloud. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> <laughs> 